The Air Force uses a similar technique in training pilots. They call these link trainers. Commercial airline pilots are checked out in Damo flight simulators. And here's another training device for pilots of anti-submarine hunter-killer planes. Even submariners today are trained on simulating devices before assignment to a submarine crew. Today's driving requires special skills. You've got to know what to do on rural highways, in congested traffic, on high-speed expressways, and in emergencies. The most effective way to provide training opportunities in all of these situations without endangering yourself and others is by means of a simulating device such as this. Your drive trainer cars have all the controls found in modern automobiles. You will drive your trainer over miles of filmed roadways, which cover a wide variety of driving situations. First, you will learn the fundamentals, how to hold and turn the steering wheel, how to put the car in motion, and use the various controls properly. You will learn how and when to signal. Accelerate. And brake. Then will come instruction in special skills, such as diagonal parking. Parallel parking. Backing. Driving on hills. On dusty country roads in city traffic, on expressways, even what to do in emergencies. As you drive, your actions will be scored by this master recorder to which your cars are individually connected. When turning a corner, for instance, you will be checked to see if you signal. Brake. Turn the wheel the proper amount at the right time. It isn't enough to do the right thing in driving. You've got to do it at the proper time. And this recorder checks to see if you did. During this next section of film, you will have an opportunity to identify and use the controls as you follow the instructor. First, adjust your seat. If necessary, release the seat lock and slide forward or back to the desired position. Make sure your seat is locked in position. When properly adjusted, you can reach all of the controls comfortably. Try the steering wheel. Turn it right. And left. Now your horn ring. Press it once or twice and listen for the click. This is your directional signal. For a left turn, move it down. For a right turn, move it up. The lever is moved in the direction you intend to turn. Return it to neutral position. This is your fuel gauge. Speedometer. Interior turn indicators. Generator and oil pressure gauges. Note that the red light on your generator gauge goes out when the engine starts. Start your car by turning the ignition key full right. Turn the ignition off. 
parking brake with the left hand by pulling slightly and turning. Pull straight back to apply. Operate the clutch with your left foot. Clutch down. Now let it up. The foot brake is operated in this manner. To stop or slow the car, press the pedal down. The accelerator pedal is also operated with the right foot. Proper placement of your foot on the pedal is essential. Your heel should rest on the floor as you apply gradual pressure to the pedal. When you've learned how to fully operate your trainer car, the speedometer will indicate your speed like this. Ease pressure to hold speed constant. This is the manual gear shift lever. Your trainer is equipped with both manual and automatic transmission. To use the automatic transmission, push the clutch to the floor. And with your left hand, pull out the dash button below the speedometer. Remove foot from clutch pedal and notice that it remains down. You are now ready to use automatic drive. When using automatic shift, gear positions are selected by push buttons. N stands for neutral. R stands for reverse. To change from automatic to manual drive, press down on the clutch pedal. Push the dash button in and let the clutch out. Another unique feature of your trainer is the mirror attached to the rear of your seat. You know that when you back a car, you turn around and look out the rear window. The mirror in the Drivo trainer represents the rear window of a real car. We'll show you how it is used in a moment. Films are an important part of the Drivo Trainer program. Here are a few examples of the types of films you will see during the course. This is a demonstration film. Correct driving techniques will be shown and explained as in this parallel parking sequence. Here is another film technique we use. This is a sequence from an instructional film in which you drive your trainer and follow the actions of an experienced driver. When he signals, you signal. When he turns, you turn. Still another type of practice film is shown here. This time, you have only a driver's eye view to guide you. On the Drivo trainer, if you steer left or right too soon or too late, too little or too much, it will not change the picture you see on the screen. However, your mistakes will be recorded on the score sheet. And by continually practicing correct procedures, your experiences on the trainer will make it easier for you to meet these problems in your own car. You should always check left and right for traffic at intersections. In these films, we do it this way. After stopping, the camera moves first to the left, and then to the right. When preparing to leave the curb, change lanes to the left, pass, or make a left turn, you will see a close-up of the outside rear-view mirror to remind you to make this traffic check. Likewise, when preparing to stop, turn right, or change lanes, you will see a close-up of the inside rear-view mirror. A good driver checks traffic conditions to his rear before stopping or turning. 
use your controls now to follow the instructor's actions. Your steering wheel is in the straight ahead position. Grasp the wheel comfortably with both hands. For a slight turn, as in a lane change, passing, or to steer around a bend in the road, you turn the wheel about this much. When turning a corner, as at an intersection, the wheel must be turned further, like this. For close quarter maneuvering at slow speed, in turning around, for instance, the steering wheel may be turned as far as it will go. Note that the wheel is allowed to return to the center slowly. These are general guides because no two cars steer exactly alike. At higher speeds, moderate turns require only slight movement of the wheel, as shown here. So remember, much practice and driving is required to polish your steering skills. When backing is called for, to view it properly, you must look over your right shoulder. In now let's assume you are going to back. Turn around so that you can see. To go right, steer right. To go left, steer left. Face forward. Braking is important too. Most stops can be anticipated and require only slight pressure on the brake pedal. Apply light pressure to stop smoothly for the stop sign. Braking involves a combination of skill and judgment, which you will practice many times throughout the course. On a hill, you may have to apply harder pressure. Try it. Occasionally, you may be faced with an... Hit it hard and fast. Now, perhaps you're wondering how you will be advised of your progress. This may be done in several ways. The master score sheet will look like The circles tell the instructor which actions each of you performed and whether they were the correct ones or not. One method of explaining your progress is by means of personal record sheets, which are distributed after every film showing. Your teacher will then read from his master's score sheet, telling each of you what you did right and what you did wrong. You will record his comments on your personal record sheets. Also, if several of you have difficulty learning certain skills or techniques, your teacher may give you individual help as he circulates around the room while one of the instructional films is being shown. Occasionally, the entire class. Then your teacher. Or to diagram. Now again, we ask you to follow the instructor's action as he demonstrates the correct starting procedure when using automatic transmission. Place your car in automatic drive. Press the neutral button. Parking brake on. Press accelerator and hold. Turn ignition key full right. 
Release. Break. Turn off ignition. Press button. Take foot off brake. Shift back to manual drive. Do it again. Place your... Press the neutral button. Parking brake on. Press accelerator and hold. Turn ignition key full right. Release accelerator and apply brake. Turn off. Press button. You're on. Perform.